All right, let's see how much this computer can take streaming. Anyway, we are back with our feminist readings. And this time it's going to be a little bit of Gloria and Zaldua. Um, Tatu was a Chicana queer disabled feminist activist. We're going to have to control your tongue, the dentist said, pulling out the metal from my mouth. Silver bits plop and tingle into the basin. My mouth is a mother load. The dentist is cleaning out my roots. I get a whiff of the stench when I gasp. I can't cap that tooth yet. You're still draining, he says. We're going to have to do something about your tongue. Hear the anger rising in his voice. My tongue keeps pushing out the wads of cotton, pushing back the drills, the long thin needles. I've never seen anything as strong as stubborn, he says. And I think, how do you tame a wild tongue? Train it to be quiet. How do you put idle and settle it? How do you make it lay down? I remember being caught speaking Spanish at recess. That I was good for three legs and the knuckles with a sharp ruler. I remember being sent to the corner of the classroom for talking back to the Anglo teacher when all I was trying to do was tell her how to pronounce my name. I wonder if you want to be American, speak American. If you don't like it, go back to Mexico where you belong. I want you to hear. I want you to speak English. Para que haya un buen trabajo, tienes que saber hablar el inglés bien. Que vale toda tu educación si todavía no hablas un English con an accent. My mother would say, mortified that I spoke English like a Mexican. At Pan American University, I and all the Chicana students were required to take two speech classes. Attacks on one form's expression with the intent to censor are a violation of the First Amendment. El anglo con cara de inocente no se arranca la lengua. While tongues can't be tamed, they can only be cut out. Overcoming the tradition of silence. En boca cerrada no entran moscas. That reminds me of um with um the calladita te ves muy bonita, which means um. You look prettier when you're quieter. Yeah, it's something that people say a lot in Spanish. Yeah, why will they know? Flies don't enter a closed mouth as I kept hearing when I was a child. Said I was to be a gossip and a liar, to talk too much. Muchitas bien criadas, well-bred girls. Oh yeah. Had been called Maracreda before. Don't answer back. It's una falta de respeto to, to talk back to one's mother or father. I remember one of the sins I recite to the priest in the confession box a few times I went to confession. Talking back to my mother. Hablar para atrás, repelar. O sicona, repulona, chismosa. Having a big mouth, questioning, caring tales are all, song, are all signs of being malcriada. In my culture, there are words that are derogatory if applied to women. I've never heard them applied to men. And our tongues have become dry. The wilderness have dried out our tongues and we have forgotten speech. And even in our people, the Spanish speakers, nos quieren poner candados en la boca. They would hold us back with their bag of reglas de academia. Pocho, cultural traitor, you're speaking the oppressor's language. By speaking English, you're ruining the Spanish language. I have been accused by various Latinas and Latinas. Chicano Spanish is considered by the purists and by most Latinos. Spanish is considered by, the, by most Latinos deficient. I don't know what she means. Most Latinos are deficient. 
Chicano Spanish is considered by the peers and by most Latinos deficient a mutilation of Spanish. Um, well, I, you know, I don't know. Is that the same as like Spanglish? Um, I think this is like an error I made when I was growing up. Even though it does erode away, has erode away my language. It's, it's, it's fun reading this because I usually didn't, um, I didn't read, um, in, um, I didn't read English and Spanish at the same time, I wouldn't speak it. Sometimes I still have a hard time. Hmm. For people who are neither Spanish nor live in a country in which Spanish is the first language. Okay. But Chicano Spanish is a border tongue which developed naturally. Changes, evolución, enriquecimiento de palabras, nuevas por invención o adopción have created variants of Chicano Spanish. Un nuevo lenguaje, un lenguaje que nos corresponde a un modo de vivir. Chicano Spanish is not incorrect. It is a living language. And I think maybe a lot of the excuses people try to make for Latinx not being 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 like Spanish imperialism which or you know some sort of like linguistic imperialism trying to force into poor Latinos it's just like no I mean like Spanish is oh, an imperialist language that mixed and stamped out so many of indigenous language and so it's, you know people will be speaking Spanglish, but I'm not sure if people will. I guess it's for me is to be able to see this as like an acceptance of that Spanglish to do if I want that acceptance of like that gender neutral language and that acceptance of the ever evolving mestizaje and Latinx and whatever it means for for anyone. For people who are neither no, live, who are neither Spanish nor live in a country in which Spanish is the first language, for people who live in a country in which English is the reigning tongue, but who are not Anglo, for people who cannot entirely identify with either standard former Castilian Spanish nor standard English, what occurs is left to them but to create their own language. In which they can conduct their identity, one capable of combining their realities and values with themselves in language terms that are neither Spanish nor English, but both. She's seeking this binary. Chicano Spanish sprang out of her Chicano's need to identify ourselves as distinct people. We needed a language which we would communicate with ourselves, the secret language. For some of us, language is the homeless closer to the south of the west. For many Chicanos, I live in Midwest and these, and because we are complex, heterogeneous people, we speak many languages. Some of the languages we speak are standard English, working class, slang English, standard Spanish, standard Mexican Spanish, North Mexican Spanish, Chicano Spanish, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California have regional variations. Pachuco, Cocalo. My home tongues are the tongues I speak with my sisters and brothers, with my friends. They are the five listed, with six and seven being close to my heart. To be from the school, the media, and job situations, I picked up on and working class English. From my mom, my loncha in front Reading Spanish and Mexican, I picked up the center Spanish and center Mexican Spanish from Los Recién Llegados, Mexican immigrants and, and Braceros. I learned the North American dialect with Mexicans. I'll try to speak either standard Mexican Spanish or the not Mexican dialect. For my parents and Chicanos living in the valley, I picked up a Chicano Texas Spanish. I speak it with my mom, younger brother, who married a Mexican and who rarely mixes English with Spanish. And on not no, with Chicanos from New Mexico, Arizona, I will speak Chicanos Spanish a little, but they often don't understand what I'm saying. With most 
California to, to Canada. I speak entirely in English, unless I forget. When I first moved to San Francisco, I rattled off something in Spanish, unintentionally embarrassing them. Often, it is only in front of the Chicana Tejana I can talk freely. That's very interesting. But I'm gonna stop there for now. <laughs>